Thesis time is stressful. There are many things to get anxious about, but for today, let's spend some time prioritizing the start. Let's appreciate all the areas we can focus our attention to, and perhaps choose the subtle ways that they can inspire our curiosity. Here are seven architectural thesis topics to inspire you. In the world of design, urgency is paramount, and what a greater need for research and pursuit than that of sustainability. Please do not confuse sustainability with greenwashing buildings. Your professor will hate you. Instead, you'll want to think of sustainability in different ways. Think of the arc angles, hedonistic sustainability, combining a ski slope over a power plant, a continuous bike path within a building, or even a community engaging peer. When I think of sustainability for a thesis, I want to see how an architectural response can elicit change. You can certainly focus on reducing the carbon footprint of construction, but perhaps one can look into the changing of people's lifestyles as well. So perhaps a curious eye may look into how architecture can manage coastal overdevelopment, potentially unsustainable cemetery practices, or maybe you just think cars are the f worse. It's an incredibly thrilling subject to pursue, not just because of its ability to revolutionize the way we live, but also because Mother Nature could really use some help. So if you believe in a more regenerative relationship with the planet, or you thought plastic straws were evil from the very beginning, I recommend this topic for you. Being able to see the best in any situation is an incredible skill to have, especially if it's in an architectural context. Taking deteriorating infrastructure and believing that it can be better certainly makes you an optimistic designer, but I promise you're not alone in your positivity. There are plenty of real world examples to inspire you. Take the transformation of a raised rail line, a park reconnecting the waterfront, or even a highway turned pedestrian oasis. Renewal and revitalization is an architectural thesis about seeing a new opportunity and provoking a conversation about a new function or program, but it starts with an architectural assumption. So perhaps one can assume there's an opportunity in a decrepit old abandoned building in your community, a forgotten rail line, or maybe that highway coming through downtown. It's a fantastic subject to pursue because it grounds one in the context of a problem while showcasing how positive a person you can be. So if you believe in a more transformative design approach and you always see the best in everyone, then I recommend this topic for you. An architect will always consider the human body when designing spaces. However, shifting from the body as scale and measurement to promoting physical and mental well-being is a different thing entirely. Leave the dumbbells behind for a second and consider architectural space in improving the mind and body. This could be a humane prison in the Netherlands, a village designed for Alzheimer's patients, or even the reflected grief of a war memorial. Health and wellness is a great subject to explore because I find that the design intersects human psychology and physical space. But don't think it's exclusively physical needs. Consider a healthy future for work environments, spaces that foster creativity, or even designing for emotional well-being. It's a remarkable subject to explore because I find that it focuses on human-centric environments rather than a developer's greedy payout. So if you believe in designing healthier living environments and you believe in architectural therapy, then I suggest this topic for you. Transitioning from conventional building methods to harnessing the power of digital fabrication and advanced construction techniques certainly marks a paradigm shift in the field of architecture. So let's set aside the pencil and paper for a second and see how technology can transform the built environment. This could be prefabricated timber construction, a robotic arm laying a brickwork facade in Switzerland, or even a 3D concrete printed bridge. Digital fabrication and advanced construction techniques open up a vast avenue of thesis topics to explore. They bridge the gap between innovative architectural visions and tangible reality. This is all propelled by the limitless potential of emerging technologies like AI. But even with a vast topic, one might look into what the city of the future looks like, the integration of AI and architecture, or even exploring feasible colonies on another planet. This subject is broad and full of potential for those who just really enjoy looking ahead or for those who consider themselves walking tech support. So if you're driven at the prospect of pioneering the next wave of architectural practice, and you didn't let ChatGPT finish all your homework, then I suggest this topic for you. Crafting spaces that enrich and engage the human spirit can shape and fortify a community. A thesis in this topic would be for any student who just wants to see the neighborhood they live in improve. But redefining civic and cultural institutions is no easy task but there are projects who have done this successfully. This could be an expandable performance space for the arts, a library as a civic hub, 
and even a small floating park. Civic and cultural institutions stand as a testament to the power of architecture in shaping societal values and experiences. Because at its core, this subject explores the symbiosis between architectural form and societal needs. So perhaps an advocate or community may look into civic engagement and participation, accessibility and inclusivity in a public forum or even providing space for art or cultural identity. It's a subject rich in possibilities, emphasizing the architecture that unites, inspires, and brings communities together. So if you're drawn to the idea of designing spaces that celebrate civic life and you just wanna be a good neighbor, then I suggest this topic for you. Contemplating the flow of urban movement when designing urban spaces is important. The transition to sustainable mobility marks a profound evolution in urban design. And frankly, cities need a divorce from cars. Let's park the car heat for a moment and explore all the ways that transit-oriented developments can not only improve the environment, but also the quality of one's own life as well. This could be an elevated bicycle path over water, a transit hub in a dense urban landscape, or even an unraveling pedestrian bridge. Transit-oriented development is a compelling field of study because it bridges urban planning with sustainable living. But this focus also goes beyond just solving traffic congestion. Perhaps it starts with looking at new technologies, the different ways people move through space, or even designing infrastructure in new ways. It's an engaging subject for those who are passionate about crafting cities that prioritize sustainable ways we circulate through space. This thesis would lean into a lifestyle that prioritizes community well-being and environmental health over car-centric urban planning. So if you're drawn to the idea of sustainable mobility and you're tired of every urban design choice being made for the sole benefit of cars, then I suggest this topic for you. Any thesis can craft a mirror structure, but one that focuses on protecting against the unpredictability of the natural world is something else. Think about that for a second. A thesis that acts as a barrier against an angry mother nature? That sounds badass. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. There are other ways to design resiliently. Consider temporary housing, earthquake-resistant buildings, or even a home designed to protect against wildfires. Resilient design and disaster mitigation presents a vital avenue for thesis exploration. It merges the robustness of engineering with the foresight of environmental science. But this realm of study also just goes beyond survival shelters as well. It's urban planning that incorporates floodways and green infrastructure. It's cutting edge materials and construction techniques for earthquake resilience. It's a community design around evacuation routes and safe havens. Engaging with this topic is to engage with the future of architecture. One that prioritizes adaptability, safety, and durability or transient trends. So if you're driven by the vision of creating built environments that not only thrive, but endure in the face of climate change throwing a tantrum, then I suggest this topic for you. So I hope some of these ideas I've shown you today can help you start your architectural thesis, or at the very least, help you stay inspired. If you have any questions or thoughts, let me know in the comment section below. If you like design, architecture, or you want to improve your space, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and remember, stay curious, stay inspired, and good luck in all your design endeavors.